Hey, hey, Harvey Park. This is your weekend market bozy where I recap the past seven days of market activity in our neighborhood. So if you want to stay on top of what's going on in Harvey Park real estate, you're in the right spot. Welcome, welcome. Hey, this week we have 10 properties for sale in Harvey Park. Uh, one of these is a uh, lot that's for sale over in Lake Ridge. Uh, one of these is over in Marley, so we're not counting that. But uh, so we have 10 properties for sale. We have three of those properties are that new hotness, and that's what we're gonna get into, as well as talking about the, uh, the four homes that have sold and give you a market update, what's going on uh, due to Corona, due to just the time of year and everything. But let's get into it, starting with 2334 South Stewart Street. Get my notes here. Uh, South Stewart Street, this is a three bedroom, two bath, 2,150 square foot. Uh, I think this is a carry home, pretty sure. Uh, nice front porch there, great for sitting. Now this home has been loved in, it's been lived in, and it could use some updating, but that's when you get to put your own little touch on it. It's got hardwood floors underneath, the, the original hardwood red oak floors underneath the carpet that look great when they're refinished. The next property I'll show you actually has them refinished so you'll see what they're looking like. We got green carpet, we got blue carpet, but my favorite, we got a pink bathroom. Hey, oh, throwback. Love it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. This one is a little over halfway finished in the basement. Uh, nice backyard. It's sitting on a 7,820 square foot lot brought to you by Remax Professionals and they're asking 375,000. Uh, it looks like they also uh, updated the, it looks like you know they have the updated electrical there. Cool, our next property is a KC Enser. This is the KC Enser, the Norman. Cool. So like the KC Ensers, they all have the uh, coved ceilings here. Uh, updated flooring, well not updated, it's still the same flooring, the original flooring, uh, but it's been refinished. New paint throughout, new carpet in the bedrooms, uh, fireplace, all kinds of updates. So the water heater, the furnace, uh, new granite countertops, new uh, quartz, I think it's a quartz sink. Yeah, the sewer line has been refinished on this too because in Harvey Park we have those uh, clay sewer line when these were built and they don't really fit. I mean, they don't really like fit into each other like PVC pipes do. They kind of butt up against each other like that. And then over time they can shift a little bit. You can get some roots from a tree, some root intrusion and a nesting up in that sewer line. So. You know, uh, hopefully they don't fail, but if they do fail, it gets pretty expensive to replace those. And so uh, nice to have a home that has it's been taken care of for you. It's like they put their master downstairs. They have an egress window. There it is. Looks good, looks clean. Shed out back. Uh, it is sitting on a Oh, it's still the same property from last time. I didn't even tell you the size of this property. I'm, I'm slipping it. Uh, 1,884 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths. I think I did say that right. Um, and a lot size 7,680 brought to you by Colorado Realty Pros. They are asking $394,900. Oh, and I'll show you. So I talk, I talk about kind of what's going on and, and how showings have been limited and just really with technology, like uh, I think certain things are, are gonna start to become uh, normal or expected with uh, real estate and giving the buyer the best experience in front of their computer does a couple of things. Uh, one, 90% of consumers are starting their search online, but two, as a seller, Sellers get frustrated by having to do showings all the time um, and having people come in and out of their house. And so if you could eliminate uh, people coming to your home that your home's not gonna be a good fit for anyways, well, that's that's a win. And so I'll show you, we offer this. I actually use the same um, uh, photography company, but 
we offer these 3D tours as well when I'm listing a home and they're really cool. I'll show you here, boom. And so every spot that you see like this is a place that you can move this to. And so looks like it's having a little bit of a hard time rendering this, but like I can see if there's texture on the walls. So I love these, we use these. These are a standard when we list and sell properties just because it, you know, mar marketing is important. Uh, price promotion, presentation of the home are the three things that get it sold. So uh, being able to do things like this, um, it's better for you, it's better for your client, and it, it saves a lot of people time. So cool. So that's when I talk about like Matterport walkthroughs, that's exactly what this is right here. All right, let's get back to it. Uh, we have one more home to talk about this week, and this one's been completely updated. So new uh, exterior paint. This is 1992, such a good year. 1992 South Paseo Way. Uh, this one is a five bedroom, three bath, 2,223, sorry, 2,331 square foot home. That's showing finished square footage right there. Uh, but all kinds of updates on this. They also had the sewer line replaced here. See, they put down brand new flooring. Uh, floor to almost ceiling windows, recessed lighting, uh, soft clothes, uh, cabinets, it's light, it's bright. It looks like they did a great job. This is a bonus room out back. They have two fireplaces, one here, one downstairs. Uh, bay window that you could sit with your bay at. Cool. Uh, like I said, downstairs has a three quarter bath, a uh, fireplace, and it's looking nice. It's sitting on a 6,400 square foot lot brought to you by Equity Colorado. And they are asking $449,900. So that is it for the new hotness. Let's talk about the four homes that sold this past week. If you remember this one here at 2250 South of Rain Street, uh, this is the one that had, you know, it was a fixer upper. It had some flooring issues. Yeah, you see, like it had some, some flooring issues. So it was, it was a fixer upper, but it was priced in a way that it went quickly. Uh, went under, under contract in one day. It was listed at 360,000 and it sold for 365,000. Next up, 2585 South Mead Street. This is a Cliff May home. These normally always go fast and this one was no exception. Uh, went under contract in one day, originally listed at 399,000 and it sold for $415,500. 3027 South Osceola Street, originally listed at $429,900 and it sold for 460. Darn. And our last sold home this week is 2843 South Owl Wolf Street. Originally listed at 475,000 and it sold for $477,000. So that's the new hotness. I'll give you a quick update what's going on in the market right now. So this past week, realtor, realtors are now able to start showing homes again. So. Uh, so that's good for us. So we've already seen um, a lot more traffic on these listings. Uh, we're seeing a bunch of homes that had withdrawn from the market due to the uh, no showing policy. Now those homes are coming back onto the market. And so that's, that's good to know because you know they left, you didn't know if they were coming back and, and, and they are. And so that's a positive thing for us. What else? And we're really going to see how this plays out. I mean, now that we're, we've already seen a spike in activity. Showings are already up. Um, we have more new homes that hit the market. So I expect this to be uh, a big boost uh, for the real estate market. And now we're just coming in to the time of year that is typically uh, really busy. And so I will be here week in, week out, reporting to you guys with what's going on. But I love getting questions from you. I love helping out. What 
what, what's my home worth? What model home do I live in? How did you get so funny and charismatic? I'll answer any question that you have. Just reach out to me. You can hit me up by uh, phone call, message, uh, text, scroll by fence, email, whatever works for you. I'm here to help you out. I cover Denver metro area, Harvey Park, obviously. Um, Denver metro, Littleton, Lakewood, uh, Foothills, up to Evergreen. Um, and then I have a team that works the other areas that I don't. So uh, let me know how I can help. If you wanna watch this and follow, uh, follow, uh, follow every week with these videos, I post them in Facebook, I post them in Nextdoor every two weeks, uh, but YouTube is the best place to go see them because YouTube, if you subscribe to my page and hit the little bell ding, you will be notified. My website, which is just beautiful, my website, you guys are my one and only right now neighborhoods that I post these for. And so you can always come in here and check what's up. All right. Well, thanks so much. I will see you guys next week and we'll see how things go. Bye.